and a good day to you, Tea Bake. So today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Easter treat. So it is going to be a gooey chocolate brownie with a mini Cadbury's cream egg in the middle and a chocolate ganache on the top, which looks a bit like a fried egg, because what is more Eastery than an egg? I've written down what you will need because I can't figure out how to put one of those little squares up in the video to tell you what you need. So if there's any millennials out there that can tell me how to do that, please comment below. What you need is 200 grams of dark chocolate, 175 grams of unsalted butter, 325 grams of caster sugar, 130 grams of plain flour, three eggs, and then you need some... Uh, for the chocolate ganache you need double cream and white chocolate the same amount of both that you use to make a ganache so I'm using 200 grams of each and then for the mini egg centers not mini egg Cadbury's mini egg um, you need probably two little bags of them because they only come six in a bag and then pop them in the freezer because you want to cook them in the brownie and not um, and if they're frozen when you put them in the brownie then they won't overcook too much. So before you start all of your baking make sure you turn your oven on to 170 and have a tin ready to put your mixture into so it wants to be 23 centimeters by 33 centimeters roughly it doesn't matter if it's not far from that and um, that's nine inches by 13 roughly so just have a pan grease piece paper on it ready to put your mixture in get your 200 grams of dark chocolate and your 175 grams of unsalted butter just break the chocolate up put it in a glass heat proof bowl um, use chocolate that is 70% uh, cocoa or more because it makes a nice gooey delicious brownie some people don't like dark chocolate so you can use milk chocolate um, but 70% plus cocoa gives you the best brownie consistency and then just break up your butter in there what you're going to do is melt this over a pan of boiling water don't fill that so get your pan boil the kettle put some water in it you can see there you don't need too much because uh, top tip, you don't want the water to touch the bowl, the bottom of the bowl. You just want the heat on the bowl to melt the ingredients. And just pop your, oh my God, which one is it? I never use this half one. Oh, it's powerful. Lovely. So then you just pop your bowl on top of your oily water at the kettle. Get yourself a spoon and just keep stirring until it's all melted. So when it is all melted together, it should look like this, nice and smooth and shiny, no lumps of butter in. And then as soon as it comes off the pan, you wanna add in your 325 grams of caster sugar. So you just pop that straight in there. And just give it a good stir so that it all combines so once you've added the sugar it will have this kind of consistency and then you can add in the 130 grams of plain flour that you've sieved make sure you do sieve it and then just stir that in as well until it's nice and combined so when you put your flour in and mix it it will be this kind of like muddy consistency quite stiff um, and then you want to just uh, put three eggs in and mix them in as well thoroughly. I tend to beat the three eggs in a bowl together before you put it into the mixture as it makes it easier to mix. So once you've mixed your eggs in, you'll have a nice brownie consistency liquid ready to put in your tray. So all you need to do is literally get this, pour it into the tray, it will pretty much level itself out. Okay. So there you have it. So you have your gorgeous brownie mixture, looking lovely. So then you get your mini eggs out of the freezer. So you, this makes about this tray will make about twelve portions. So unwrap all of your eggs and just place them into the mixture 
So you, if there's 12, then you want three rows of four. So just pop them in as you'll kind of, as you think you'll slice them into pieces and just push them into the center. So when you've popped your cream eggs in, they're gonna look like that. So just push them in. They won't be covered in the brownie mixture. And then they're ready to go in the oven. So put them in the oven for, I would say, about maximum 25 minutes um, until the top of the brownie looks kind of flaky because um, you want it to still be gooey. You don't want to overcook it. A lot of recipe books will say 30 minutes, but that just gives you a dry brownie. No one wants a dry brownie. So 25 minutes um, at 170 in the oven. So these have come out of the oven and they look delicious. So just chop them up into 12 squares. So you've got one egg in each. All you need for this next bit is to make the chocolate ganache. You just need some double cream some white chocolate and some yellow food colouring um, to make the middle of your eggs. And you can use the same amount of double cream and white chocolate to make the ganache, that's how it's made. So what you need to do is just weigh out 200 grams of double cream. Okay, so what you need to do is get everything ready to go because we need to put the cream in the pan and as soon as the cream comes to the boil, I'm gonna show you exactly when with a little close up, you need to pour it straight into the white chocolate. Now I've used chocolate buttons because it's easier to melt it with chocolate buttons, so I'd recommend that you do the same. Um, so put that to one side and then you put this on the heat and I'm gonna show you exactly when to take it off and as soon as you see it start to boil and there bubbles to appear because you don't want it to start boiling as soon as you see those bubbles coming you take it off the heat and put it in the straight into the chocolate so now so you put the cream straight into the chocolate and then you want to just keep on stirring just keep stirring 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 until it melts it might feel like everything's not going to melt but it will so you just have to keep on stirring until you get a smooth consistency once all the white chocolate has melted it will look a bit like this and then you just need to put it to one side to cool down when your ganache has cooled a bit pour it into a sort of pourie type Pyrex jug and then you want to just put a tiny bit of it into another dish and mix some of the yellow colour into it because that's going to be your egg centres and then we're going to pour that into this um, little squirty bottle here. You don't have to have one of these, you can just put a blob of the yellow in the middle of each uh, egg as it were. So I'm just going to pour a tiny bit in here and then I'm going to pour the tiny bit of the yellow in, just a tiny little blob like that um, and then mix it all up. So just keep putting colour in and mixing it until you get like this kind of egg yolk colour. So then you just pop it in your little bottle and it's ready to squirt in the middle of the eggs. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what to do on three of the brownies and then you can do the rest. So you want to just pour it on and just let it drip. Down the sides. So it kind of looks like that. You've got your little eggs and then just let them set and you can put your you can put the yellow centers in kind of where the cream eggs are because you can see they're poking through and then when whoever eats these lovely Easter treats you've made they're gonna get surprised because there's a Cadbury's cream egg in the middle and they won't know it's there because they can't see it 
there you have your lovely brownies that look like they've got fried eggs on top but they taste of delicious white chocolate and here here we have the finished product so what you want to do is just pour on the ganache leave it to cool for at least i would say four to five minutes an hour pour it onto the brownies so it just drips down the side and then leave the yellow center in your little um, squirty can thing for probably about another half an hour so it's quite solid. So then you can put the centers on. I put the centers on and it melted a bit so I left the ganache a bit longer and then I just put more of the yellow on top to kind of build it up so it looked like a proper egg yolk. And don't they look delicious? Um, and of course you've got that lovely cream egg surprise in the middle. Um, I'm going to cut one open and see what it looks like. You can see there, I've just cut it open and you've got the little cream egg of deliciousness in the middle. There's a little surprise. That is how to make your lovely Easter brownies with the cream egg in the middle and a realistic looking fried egg on the top made out of delicious chocolate um, if you're looking for anything for Mother's Day which is in a few weeks time then if you have a look if you subscribe to my channel and have a look in my videos I've got one of how to make a cupcake bouquet which is an easy fun thing to do with the kids and it's a relatively cheap thing and a beautiful gift edible gift which your mother will hopefully share with you as well Hope you enjoyed the video i'll be back again next week with some more fun ideas subscribe to my channel for more cakes to make and different ideas and i will see you soon take care bye